if you can't tell, I'm in a different apartment. That's right, we moved. Isaiah, Aubrey, and I have moved in together. It's interesting. Neither of them are here right now, so I'm here alone. Um, but Isaiah's at work and Aubrey's in town for a friend's graduation party. And I'm about to go drop off some resumes to places because I'm trying to get a job. And I swear I've applied to probably about 20 places and I've heard nothing. I need a job. I'm not alone anymore. All right, now that there's people here, I shall give a tour. This is the office. Why are you talking so quiet? <laughs> Would you like me to yell? This is the office! Hey, we have neighbors. Check it out! We have neighbors. It's like 10 p.m. Seriously? I'm yelling. Uh, when you come out of the office, there's a hallway. Don't show your room? Okay, there's Aubrey's room. We'll show you later. She doesn't want to show it. This goes this way. There's the water heater. Here's Aubrey's bathroom. It's super cute. She's got a picture on the floor. Wow! That's my old shower curtain. She's got these cute little pictures hanging. She's got the setup. Okay, and then you go across the way. And we have laundry in the unit. Wow, that's super nice. We've done a lot of laundry already. And I really appreciate having it like right outside my bedroom. This is where Isaiah and I are staying. Oh my god, it sounds like a hotel. So we have a window right here that looks out. You can't see because it's dark, but that's our patio. And so this is what I've done with the room so far. This bed was a pain in the butt. It is um, an Ikea bed. So are the nightstands, by the way. They're all Ikea. But, oof, oof, that's a story. Aubrey, I forgot to tell them about the bed. So, this bed, the bed that I showed you, this bed was a pain in the butt. In there. It's from Ikea. It's part of the Brimness collection. We got, so we ordered that. The same night we ordered the bedspread. I'll relearn how to make ice. Yeah. Um, we ordered that bed the same night we ordered the bedspread, which was about a month ago. And set up delivery because at the time it was set up for when we were going to be in Nashville and nobody was going to be at my house. so. We needed to change the delivery date till after that. So that's what we ended up doing. We originally had it for the day after we got back from Nashville, which was the 18th. Um, they called me on, no, I called the delivery company. So Ikea goes through another company. They don't have their own delivery. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I called them and I was like, hey, I was supposed to get a call to schedule my delivery and I never got it. Just wanted to check in on it. And basically, Ikea lets you pick any delivery date you want, but the company doesn't deliver on every day that Ikea offers. So I had to reschedule it for that Friday because they only come to attach me once a week. They called me that morning and said, hey, we can't get it there. Um, because something happened with the driver so they rescheduled it again and called me again saying the driver never showed up we're gonna reschedule it again and I was like this is getting ridiculous so I tried to call Ikea turns out you can't call Ikea from a cell phone guess what I don't have by this point we're already moved in our mattress is on the floor we're sleeping on the floor I don't have a, ho a, a landline here so I Hello. Try it. This is Isaiah's vegetarian hot. Oh, oh corn dog. Nasty. It's gonna be hot. Ah. It's good. Are you crying? Did you burn yourself? It's good, huh? It's okay. It's really good. <laughs> There's gum in your ketchup. So basically, 
Our mattress is on the floor. We don't have a bed. It was supposed to be delivered. They canceled it twice already. Then they call again to cancel it. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So I had my dad call them because I don't have a landline here. And he basically deals with the store so that Aubrey and I could go pick up the bed. They were going to refund us the shipping but give us the the charge for the bed on like a store credit so that we could buy it that day and then he was like well this is super inconvenient so they also gave us a hundred dollar gift card that they're supposed to email to us so Aubrey and I drive from Bakersfield to Burbank two hours to go pick up this bed we get there and there's like a huge line at the customer service so I walk over to the home delivery person and I was like hey can you help me with this she's like usually no but I will. So we're waiting and they're super confused about it. They're like, oh, we don't do store credit. And they were just a mess back there. So basically she had to get the manager and the manager ended up canceling everything they had done and making it, I don't know what she did to be honest. All I know is that I wasn't charged again and I have a bed now. She rerouted the delivery to go to there and then just gave us one. I, bas I, bas I don't know what happened, but then my only concern was the shipping refund because I didn't know what she had done with it and by that point she had left so I had to ask another manager and update him on the whole situation that had happened and then he refunded me right there and then my only other issue is that the gift card they were supposed to give us it was emailed to me but not till two days after we picked up the bed and I'm like I'm not driving down to Burbank anytime soon and I'm definitely not paying for it online and getting shipping again so Ikea, my review, you're okay. I will never ever buy online from you again because you're horrible. What? Oh yeah, my headboard was chipped. And then Isaiah and I, when we were putting it together, this is not your fault, this is our fault. We misread the directions. And you see when I showed you those, the, the preview of the bed, for the pain in the butt. There's like <laughs> holes <laughs> in the front. So, for some reason, they don't make the drawers fit the whole length of the bed. They put spacers in between the railing for the drawer and the foot and the headboard. I don't know why. Why don't they just make the drawers a little bit longer? I don't know. I don't care. We messed it up, missed the spacers, put the very long screws through the, <laughs> through the bed. So now we gotta fix that, um, but it's fine. So if you're ever trying to buy from Ikea, that bed took us like how long to put together? Oh my gosh. Like a few hours. Maybe like four to five hours that night and then that wasn't even with the drawers. Isaiah did the drawers the next day um, and that was with both of us trying to work on it. And then they, the headboard, they make us mount it to the wall but didn't give us anything to mount it to the wall with so Aubrey and I had to go to Home Depot and get screws to mount that to the wall. Like I said, we have a bed. I don't care. Just don't buy from Ikea online because their delivery sucks. They work with small things. When I, so I, the night I ordered the bed, I forgot to order the nightstands with it. And I had already paid for shipping, so I called the next day. And I was like, I need to add these to the order. And they're like, well, your order's already processed, so what I can do is, like, waive the shipping. Which is super cool of them. So they waived the shipping and sent the nightstands via FedEx. So I got those, like, two days after... I ordered them, which was super nice because I already had them. Um, the bed was a different story, so my only review is that it was a pain in the butt to put together. We didn't have all the supplies, the directions are weird, but we have a bed. <laughs> it's cute. I don't care. Ikea, I don't know about you. I'm feeling 22. Everything else is alright. I just slowly back away. I don't plan on going down for Ikea ever again. I have a $100 gift card and I'll use that when I go down sometime. Not driving down two hours okay. to be in that heck hole of a place. They have good chocolate cake though. They had froyo. That was pretty much the upside of that day. I bought that. Yeah, so that's my story. I'm sticking to it. This is our bathroom. Sorry, this thing is clicking. Ignore my Fitbit charger. So we have just a shower. Aubrey has a tub, and then we have a shower. 
Turtle. And a turtle. Yeah. And then you come out here. And we have Aubrey. Aubrey. A dining room. Aubrey's yeah. heading into the kitchen. This room got some. That's, That's our becoming our junk drawer. It's really like office supplies. This is, this is the drawer I needed. That's the building supplies. Here's a the screwdriver. screwdriver. The fridge. It came with all the appliances. Besides those. So basically, like the fridge, the dishwasher, the stove, and the microwave. It came with me. Thankfully, because I can't afford that. You can't afford me. No. Obviously. And then we have. Our living room set up right now. This is just a big storage closet. Not big, but it's bigger than most. We got some stuff in there. I kind of scratched myself. Aubrey scratched herself. And then out here, if you go and then open it. There's a closet. Not a closet. What is this? This is our balcony. This is our balcony. That's our room. You can see it now. That's a closet we can't open. Our neighbors have a plant. We're going to get a plant. Oh, I can't wait to get a plant. I want a live plant. I want a live plant so badly. I want a plant. I want oxygen in my house. This is our key stand that I just bought off Amazon. It's so cute. Here's our people. Oh my gosh, I can see them. That's fine. Yeah, so I was watching the notebook. That's it. That's the whole place. Oh, we can, uh, this is where we're living now. We we're in Bakersfield. It's hot as buttholes. We have a pool, which is very nice. We also have a, a fitness center. It's basically just three treadmills and then like an in home weight rack. And some ellipticals. Three treadmills, an elliptical, and a bike. Three treadmills, two ellipticals, and a bike. And an Aubrey whenever I feel it. Yeah, so I might end up getting gym passes, but I need a job first. I ended up going today and dropping off resumes and letter of recommendations to some places I applied to online. Ooh, online. I get my classes in a few days. Aubrey gets her classes next week. Yeah, Aubrey got her wisdom teeth out. How you feeling? Mm. Can you see it? Still can't open it all the way. It's a little tight. Yeah. And... Yeah, now I have a month to find a job before classes start. And rent's due. <laughs> before rent is due. Oh yes, we went shopping and we got a lot of vegan and vegetarian meat. So we got some vegan chicken nuggets, the bomb. Got some black bean patties, of course. I found this beefless ground beef, so I'm going to make some tacos. Oh, these are so good. If you are That's vegetarian and you miss corn dogs, I don't even, I didn't, I like got so sick of corn dogs when I used to eat meat. These are so good. So good. They're not vegan. They have dairy eggs. products in it and eggs and stuff. But if you're a vegetarian, they're super good. Along so are these chicken. sliders. They're really good with like buffalo sauce and ranch. I love here. And then over here is where all of our dishware is. And my cute cactus mug. Aubrey likes this mug. This is the mug I got in Seattle. It's so cute. It's got like an artistic outline of the skyline. This one's not yours. Not yours. That's pretty much all we got to show you. These are the sunflowers that Sarah gave me. I miss her. She's That's supposed to visit me in a couple weeks and I'm putting it on the vlog so that she has to. Sarah, you have to. What do you think of the place, babe? Oh my god, there's a shirt with guy in here. Really? <laughs> it's great. Are you happy? Yes. I'm very Babe. happy. I love you more. Not true. You have a bruise on your arm. I Aww, know. They're being cute. Wait, wait. What? I'm tired. Isaiah worked today and then he drove up tonight because ow, there's the door. Because he still has to move some stuff into the office space. And then he's leaving again tonight because he's dog sitting for his aunt and uncle. Tomorrow we are going to Luke Bryan. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Bryan. Oh my god. Luke. Sunrise. Oh my Luke. Sunrise. 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 Lu
Brian. He's playing at Dodger Stadium. Isaiah's so excited because he loves country music loves. like no other. And I love baseball too. He loves baseball, but he's working tomorrow. So Aubrey and I are picking him up from work and we're going straight to Dodger Stadium. But that's it. So thanks for watching the apartment tour. Uh, look out for next week's vlog. I don't know what I'm doing because I have no life yet. Take you on an adventure of Bakersfield. Everyone wants to see it. I hate Bakersfield. I'll show you my school. It's hot hey. here. It was like 110 what? today. Aubrey and Isaiah are at the same school. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And hit that bell. The bell. Which size is the bell on? I always forget. I don't care. Wherever it's at, you should hit it. Okay. Thanks. Bye.